In this tutorial, we will create a nice glitch transition without using any displacement maps or any extra layers. This will be done by just simple built-in effects inside of After Effects. Without wasting any more time, let's jump to it. As you can see, I've got two clips here on the timeline. There's no transition yet. Let's go ahead and make one. Let's right-click, New Adjustment Layer. So what I like to do is cut the adjustment layer to 20 frames in length. So that would be 10 frames to the left of the cut. Hold your shift and press page up once to move 10 frames to the left and bring the end point aligned into the blue playhead and do the same for the right side. So go back to the middle point, hold your shift and press page down this time and also bring the end point aligned into the blue playhead. Now our adjustment layer is ready. Let's open up effects and presets tab and search for VR digital glitch. That will be the main effect we'll use for this transition. So drag it to the adjustment layer and straight up you can see distortions happening. Let's adjust the effect. In effect controls, open up distortions tab, increase color distortion all the way to 100. And now we need to animate this glitch. So there are two ways you can either use evolution or random seed. I prefer to use random seed because it makes the animation more jittery. And I think that's how glitch transition should look. Let's move to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Create a keyframe for random seed and also the master amplitude. That's how we will control the glitch amount. Then press U to see those keyframes on the timeline. Set master amplitude to zero. Then let's move to the cut in between the clips. Set master amplitude to 100. So it's accumulated in the center or in the middle of the clips. Then move to the end of the adjustment layer and set master amplitude back to zero. And also set random C to 40. So the higher value you set, the more jittery the, the animation will be. Let's now select the master amplitude keyframes. Right click keyframe assistant easy easy. You can press F9 as a shortcut. Now keep the keyframe selected and open up graph editor. And if your graph does not look like this, then make sure you right click and you are in edit speed graph. And select this point here, drag the handle to the right all the way. And select this point and drag the handle to the left. That will better amplify the glitch effect at the point of a transition. Let's now exit the graph editor and we need to duplicate VR digital glitch effect now. Select it and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And you can see how distorted the image got. Let's now adjust the VR digital glitch number 2. So set frame layout to stereoscopic over under. Then let's open up distortion tab and here adjust couple settings. First let's increase distortion rate all the way to 100. Also increase distortion complexity. Something like 80 should do. Then open up sub settings. Set sub influence to 100 and sub scaling all the way to 100. And you can see how distorted our image got. We can barely distinguish what's on it. And that's how the glitch transition should look. The next step would be to duplicate these effects. Select the VR digital glitch number one and press Ctrl D three times. So make three duplicates. Then scroll down and find VR digital glitch number two and duplicate it three times as well. Pressing Ctrl D and you should have eight glitch effects in total. Now our glitch effect looks super distorted and that is nice. Let's now add a couple more effects to better amplify this transition effect. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Exposure. It will be under Color Correction. Add this to the Adjustment Layer. Move to the beginning of your Adjustment Layer. Create keyframe for Exposure at 0. Move to the point between the clips. Set Exposure to 2. Then move to the end of the Adjustment Layer and set it back to 0. Let's now add one more effect that will be Directional Blur. Search for In Effects and Presets. Add it to the adjustment layer and we're going to do the same thing. So at the beginning of the adjustment layer, keyframe the blur length at zero. Then at two seconds or in between the clips, increase the amount to maybe 25. Also, I'm going to change the direction so it's horizontal rather than vertical. And at the end of the adjustment layer, set it back to zero. Now let's press U two times to see those keyframes. Scroll down a bit to find the direction of blur and exposure keyframes. Select them all, press F9 or right click, easy ease. Now let's go to the craft editor again and do the same thing. Select these points, drag the handle to the right all the way. Then select the other point and drag it to the left all the way. Let's now exit the craft editor and see what we've created so far. And that is what has to be one of the easiest methods to create a glitch transition inside of After Effects without using any displacement maps or any extra layers. This is all done by simple built-in effects that you can always save as a preset and reuse on a different adjustment in a new project 
I've shown that a couple of times in my previous video, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and check that out. And at this point, the tutorial is complete. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, please drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video.